Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, you guys, I'm here doing your lunchtime reading, okay? I really dig this reading because I, do, I don't know, I have fun with it, you know? Um, but anyway, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. Man, thank you for all of the love you guys give me every day. Um, thank you for the likes all of my subscribers a huge thank you thank you thank you and everybody new here hi welcome all right so um in the lunchtime readings you guys i not only pick up on maybe what sign you are but also what you could be having for lunch okay so um yeah just a a, a different kind of confirmation for you you know and stick with me to the end of the video we're going to get to your fortune cookie at the end right Yep, I'm going to read your fortune. All right, so Divine, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective? Messages for my collective, please. Ooh. Somebody wants this love back, okay? They want a new beginning with you. They want a fresh start. Um, you could be dealing with possibly a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um yeah, I feel like, you know what, you don't feel the same way about this person anymore. Um, your The flame is burnt out. You know, I'm seeing maybe you've even turned cold to this person, okay? Yeah, they've been with a lot of people. You see this person as a user, a player, okay? Um, you know, they're, they're out here kind of running around being a dog. Um, yeah, with a lot of people, okay? they Some of these, whoever this is, they've been with so many people, I feel like they may not even remember some of their names, okay? Yeah. And the divine is like, dude, you need to learn a lesson from that. Um, I feel like you're being led in a whole new direction, too. This is, the, to me, in this deck, this is like the Six of Swords, okay? Um, you're moving on to calmer waters. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person that from your past, they could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Feel like they're going to be wanting to come in with an apology, okay? Or maybe they're... Um, they could be very emotional right now because they know after the lifestyle that they've led and all the people they've been with, um, they may not get another chance with you, okay? This person definitely wants to give you some kind of love offer, but, you know, honestly, um, with, the, with the, the Knight of Cups, they're not the most reliable knight in the deck, like, normally we don't, you know, I don't know. It's a love offer, but you don't know if you can trust it. But I feel like it's going to be emotional. This could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, or you could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Yeah. They're going to tell you they see you as the one, okay? Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like collective, you don't trust this person anymore. You know, they betrayed you, okay? And you think that they'll be able to do it again. And honestly, um, there's nothing out here telling me that you can actually trust them. I w I'm going to be open about that, you know? But I f you're going to feel it too. You're going to be using your intuition here. And I feel like you're going to be putting an end to this. This is like the death card. And this one is the ace of swords. Okay. So, yeah. I'm feeling like um, you're going to be cutting them out of your life. You know, they, they are going to come in with some kind of love offer. But you don't... We don't know what, what's actually in that cup. I mean... Um, you could be eating tacos for lunch today. You could be a Scorpio. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be having a candy bar or some soup, right? Maybe even sushi. 
Yeah, this person's going to be a hot mess. I kind of get the sense that they're going to get very emotional after you tell them no. Um, I'm seeing you say a no to this person, man. You're going to tell them you want somebody who's going to stay at your side. Uh, you want an emperor, okay? Somebody who's um, not going to be running around cheating on you. Somebody that you, um, someone you can trust who's going to be loyal to you. I feel like, yeah, you're closing out this cycle. You may tell this person, I've learned my lesson from this. Okay, it was painful, it was long, it was hard. I feel like while you were putting in the effort into yourself, this person was out living their life and playing the field. You know, and now all of a sudden they want you back. Why are they coming back in all of a sudden, Spirit? Why? Because I'm just seeing them showing up. No reason, just showing up. Oh, man, have they been drinking? They may even show up. You may smell the alcohol on this person. Yeah, you're, use your intuition. I feel like this person goes clubbing a lot, too. I don't know. I'm picking up on that. Um, yeah, they've fallen from grace. Yeah, look at all of this drinking they're doing. I mean, it's all alcohol. This person drinks a lot. But they go out, they go to clubs, they get tempted. I feel like they, they pick up on possibly younger people. Okay, and they can't stay out of the bar. This person can't stay out of the bar. So when they come towards you, they may even be sloshed, okay? For real. Yeah, but they're coming in and they're going to give you a lot of pressure. They're going to be really wanting to get back together. I'm kind of feeling like magician energy off of this, okay? Saying whatever they can. Um, and they're not thinking clearly because I feel like somebody's going to come in drunk. Yeah, they're, it's kind, they're going to be kind of like a sloppy mess here. They want to get back together with you, Collective. They do. This is an ex that's, they're going through it. Um, they, they, they drink a lot. They think about you. They get very emotional. Okay. I feel like this person does something very impulsive too, and just can't, it's like they can't stay away. They can't resist you. Um, but here's the thing. They're going to want to get back together with you, but I do see there's someone on the side and I feel like it's a, a younger person. I, you know, I feel like they've had a lot of other options. And they all seem to be young and naive. I've picked up on this person before. Young and naive, okay? I feel like this person, if they were a divine masculine, they're losing their title. They've fallen from grace. They can, they, they, this person has a couple different problems, okay? Um, they've got some, they've got a toxic lifestyle where the first problem is, is I feel like they're addicted to something, either alcohol or a substance, okay? But I feel like it's alcohol. They drink a lot. They party a lot. They go to clubs a lot. And they're constantly being tempted by a lot of other people. You know, it's that temptation. They give into it. They don't have the willpower to truly break those habits. Okay, you can't grow with this person. Do you see what I'm saying? You, you won't be able to grow with them because they really haven't grown up yet. I feel like you're not even vibing at the same level. You're out here being responsible, working hard, dedicated to what you're doing. Um, the universe is celebrating you here. So I feel like you've put in so much effort into a transformation, okay? And you're just ready to move on. I feel like you're over this person and they kind of just 
show up out of the blue, but I feel like it's after they've been drinking. So, you know, but you're going to see very quickly, you can't grow with somebody like this, man. They can't come to you with the truth. They can't come to you sober. And they haven't done the work on themselves to create a change in their life. You know? I feel like you're, um, you're wanting a new beginning. This person has put you through a battle. You could be a, a Leo Aries Sagittarius. And I feel like your path is lit. You know where it is that, you know what you have to do here. You know, I don't think there's going to be any question. You're going to see this person stumbling around, slurring their words. Um, you know, already, right when you see that, that's a big red flag. Okay, that's a huge red flag. And I feel like you're enthusiastic for things that are coming up for you. You're, you're in a time possibly, too, of celebrating, okay? Yeah, Leo, I was just going to say, somebody's birthday's coming up that's going to be Sagittarius. So happy birthday to you early. Um, this person could come, like, show up at your birthday. That would be a good reason for them to show up. Like, they, they may need an excuse So this person could even show up with some kind of present. But here's the thing. They like I said, they're going to they're going to want to pressure you to get back together, but it'll be a third party. I'm telling you, they have someone on the side. And it's somebody young and they have been with others. Okay? They like them young and naive, and you are not naive. You've, you've learned your lessons from everything you've been dragged through. Okay, you're a warrior here. And this is learning your lessons as well. Closing up a cycle properly, having done your work. Okay, this person hasn't changed at all. They, they have a lot of growing to do. And I, I feel like they've got two major temptations that are so toxic. And that is sleeping around and doing a whole lot of drinking and partying. Okay? They have not changed their lifestyle collective. And I feel like you've transformed in every area of your life. So you're ready to move forward here. Like you're going after the things that you want in life. This is Queen of Wands energy with the world. Okay? The divine is giving you a passionate new beginning, and you're taking that wand and you're running with it. This person may show up around your birthday, okay? Um, give me just one more for the collective. You could be eating french fries for lunch. Yeah, this person is the night of sides. They definitely have been with a lot of other people. And I feel like, you know, further down the road, even if they do change their lifestyle for you now, it's not going to stay that way. Further down the road, when something happens or they run into any kind of difficulty in life, they're going to fall back on all of this toxic behavior. They're going to go out drinking again. They're going to see somebody that's going to tempt them. And they're going to be right back into that, um, into that lifestyle where they're cheating, running around, and doing a lot of drinking. And that's something that you are no longer going to put up with. Okay? Yeah. I see this cycle coming to an end. Um, I see you actually, you know, possibly speaking your truth and ending this. Okay, you want somebody who's going to be grounded and stable. You want somebody who's going to be loyal to you, not leave you behind, not go out there and be tempted. You want somebody who's going to be dedicated to you and um, committed, right? So, yeah, you're going to be holding out for a King of Pentacles. And either that or you have a King of Pentacles already in your energy, okay? All right, what else can you show me? 
Yep, you're cutting this person off. They've been with too many people. Some of you right now are celibate. Okay, some of you are just, you know, seriously, you're not going to let anybody else touch you until you find that King of Pentacles, somebody that is going to be solid for you. All right, but I'm telling you, this person from your past, they're coming in fast. They're coming in fast, and they may have to have, you know, a couple cups of coffee um, just to try to perk up from all the uh, alcohol they're drinking, like for real. But yeah, this is very fast moving energy. They're literally, I just get the sense that this person's going to be making some kind of impulsive move and coming towards you really quickly. Okay, so get ready for this past drunk person to come back in. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Anyway, um, let's get to your fortune cookie. Let's crack it open, see what we got. What's your fortune today? People enjoy having you around. Appreciate this. Yeah, okay. I feel like um, I feel like people do enjoy having you around. I feel like it's your energy. Um, you may be a very feisty person. I'm getting that off of this Queen of Wands energy, right? Very feisty, bold, confident. Um, this is all stuff, though, that you. I feel like you acquired during this journey, too. Okay, you've gotten your confidence back. I feel like at one point, this person broke your heart. You had to heal from that collective. But you've got your light back, your energy back. Um, you've got your peace. You've learned your lessons. People enjoy having you around because you're, gen in general, a happy person. The Queen of, uh, the Queen of Wands is fun. Um, she's, uh, she's fun. She's funny. She's got a great sense of humor. She's feisty, fiery. She's very bold and confident. People love that about you. Okay, I feel that's who I'm talking to out here. So you are going to be getting a lot of love from other people. And you're about to, there's going to be somebody um, that you meet that's, they're going to want to keep you around. Okay, they're going to appreciate you. All right. All right, so your lucky numbers here are 11, 13, 19, 24, 37 and 47 okay for for someone here that's your age i don't know which one it is you know but um yeah i just picked up on that and happy birthday to whoever this is okay <laughs> um but if you add these numbers together and you break them down numerology style uh it'll give you like um, and look up the meaning of that number right it'll give you maybe some insight some advice on what to do next what's coming towards you okay so check out your spirit number as well anyway collective that's what i've got for your lunchtime reading i love these readings um if you like this video please hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe and you want to join this awesome soul tribe and until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.